When have you seen the real world hit a spoiled brat? When the high school principal's daughter who previously got away with all kinds of garbage behavior, vandalism, dinking, major, bullying, got caught vandalizing a lecture hall in uni she was unceremoniously dumped and banned. Parents whined for months on FB about their poor baby's unfair treatment and the fact that her applications to other unis were being denied. Spending $50 on food a day is not normal. College girl got cut off from her parents, drinking and not going to class, and had to get a job. She put on Facebook about how she's gonna go hungry and needs money. People offered her food and to make her dinner. She said that's okay I just need about $40 to get through the day I don't like to grocery shop. Edit. If you're wondering how she went through that much a day she always ate out at a restaurant and had Starbucks twice a day. Add in snacks and alcohol and there's $40 in one day. $40 can feed you for a week if you grocery shop. When my brother was in school he was horrifically bullied for being autistic. And his bully was the most entitled little shti I've ever had the displeasure of meeting. His father paid for boxing practice, karate lessons, and other martial arts. This made him think that he was the best at anything physical. My brother isn't overly fond of sports. And prefers to read in the library. As the typical nerdy kid. He's a prime target for bullies. One day when the bully had cornered my brother up against a wall. My brother finally decided that he wasn't just going to take it anymore. But he strongly dislikes violence. And thus would not be fighting back. Instead. When the bully tried to punch him. My brother ducked. Three broken fingers and a trip to the hospital later. The bully's father finds out what had been happening. All his extra classes training were cancelled. He had all of his electronics and games sold. And if he wanted to have a car. He would have to work for every penny himself. One of my favorite things about the military is that in a uniform. Nobody can tell how privileged or unprivileged you might have been. It's a total blank slate. And for many. It's humbling to not get to have to wear your social status on your sleeve. On my second ship. There was an E2 who grew up very wealthy. And was an ass about it he wasn't afraid to let us know. He thought that he was better than his peers. There's a stereotype of the enlisted guy who thinks of himself as an officer as a way to pretend that means anything. That's this guy in every way and he would try to get out of shti enlisted work because he was going to be an officer. Probably even a commanding officer of a ship. So there we were. A few hours into his first deployment and this moth earthka gets violently seasick. It lasted for days. I don't know if y'all've ever been around someone who can't open their eyes without yakking. But it's awful. You really feel bad for them it's hard to watch someone go through. Not with this guy. I will admit that I was a bit spoiled growing up. Though I didn't think I was a brat. My mom had a maid that came in several times a week. When I went to college. Several things were very different for me. I knew to clean up after myself but cleaning a bathroom was completely new. The biggest shock was laundry. I had absolutely no idea what I was doing or how. I knew I was supposed to use detergent and softener. But I thought any soap would do and didn't knew what softener was. I had no idea how or when to add them either. Reality hit when a campus security guard came in and I asked how I much of the dish soap I was supposed to use and the man started laughing. He did help me get the right soap after and explained how to operate a washer and dryer. When I joined the army. Guy who had the infantry tattooed on him didn't even last two weeks in basic training. When I was an 8 there was one kid who had do you know who my dad is? Syndrome just because his dad was a drill sergeant at some other post. He used to act like a ref king dick to people at every opportunity and several of us almost fought him. Either sticking up for ourselves or other platoon members. We made it to graduation without killing him. His dad showed up. Heard what a FCK he was being. Our drill sergeants called us at ease while still in formation after the ceremony. His dad walks up to the formation. Calls him up front and makes him do push ups in his class A's while saying I'm sorry over and over. It remains to this day the most glorious thing I have ever seen. My friend has this entitled younger brother. 
who acts like the world revolves around him. While his dad is stern with him. His mom babies this behavior. And he can get away scot-free with almost anything. He gets angry very easily. And even at the slightest things. I was over at my friend's house. And while we were downstairs. We heard a loud crash from his brother's room. It turns out he was playing Fortnite on his TV. And threw the controller into the glass table. Which shattered. My friend called me later in the day over discord. And told me how after his dad came back. He grounded his brother for a month. And he wasn't allowed to play video games or go over to a friend's house. He had to pay for a new table with his allowance. And had to do chores. He got what he deserved. Went on a double date with my boyfriend. His friend. And his friend's date. The whole evening. She was rude. Snobby. Overall a demanding person that felt entitled to whatever she wanted. She was rude to the waitstaff and suggested we tip them nothing for refusing to refund her order after she ate the whole thing. And complained about everything. On the car ride back. She started driving. Then halfway through the drive. Announced she didn't want to drive anymore. The rest of us had been drinking. So we all refused to take over. She said fine. But I'm not driving either. Let go of the steering wheel. And slammed on the brakes. We got rear-ended. And it was her car. So no cost to the rest of us. But it was instant karma for her behavior and attitude. Traffic jam. Someone uses shoulder to skip ahead and save time. Because they're more important than everyone else. Gets pulled over very quickly afterwards. Seen a couple videos of it but saw it with my own eyes a few weeks ago. It was a beautiful thing. My dad owns a bar. And one night there was this rich kid with his friends. Bo shoes without socks. The whole thing. He was giving one of the bartenders a tough time because he was on the shorter side. This kid was bothering the bartender for about half an hour until finally he got my dad to come out. My dad basically yelled at the kid about how the bartender enlisted in the military and fought in Afghanistan and how ashamed he should be to make fun of an honest, hard-working veteran for his height. The kid left the bar nearly crying. And I hope that experience helped him change for the better. I had a girl try to rent a house I had. She was late 20s and gave off a bad vibe. She requested that several lights in the house be changed argued with me about the basement and demanded a new refrigerator because someone else used this one it's gross full stop she also said it shouldn't be a problem to rent me my daddy makes a lot of money i went back and ran her application she had been evicted from her last three houses her credit score was the lowest i had ever seen she sent in her father's pay stubs i called her previous landlord and she would destroy the house. Get evicted. Her father would pay the damages and the remainder of the rent. And she would move on. I called to deny her. And she was flabbergasted. I think I may have said I wouldn't let you borrow my pen even if it was on a chain when she repeated that her daddy made a lot of money. She will probably never be able to rent anywhere ever again. In the 6th grade. My teacher was this tough older Scottish woman with a very thick accent who probably led battalions in World War II. She terrified me and I adored her. One of my classmates was this naughty brat who constantly bragged that she never had to do chores or homework. And always got her parents to do her work for her. One day. We had a book report due. The book report was supposed to be two pages. And for some reason this girl wasn't able to get her parents to do her work for her on this one occasion. She came in and turned in a book report only one sentence long. Our teacher looked like she was about to rip this girl in half. She held up the book report and said loud enough for the entire class to hear. Are ye an idiot? This is my husband's story. He wasn't a brat. But he was being a little brother. They are 5 years apart and this happened when they were much younger. He was messing with his big brother. Just being generally annoying and got a good punch in the arm. My husband starts yelling for his mom. Complaining that his brother punched him. She comes up and says. Son. Sometimes you deserve it. 
The boys knew then and there that the dynamic had finally changed. It's one of my favorite stories because their mom is so sweet. When I went grocery shopping with a friend who had no concept of money. She was used to just being handed her dad's credit card to get whatever she wanted. She never looked at prices. Never listened to what her total was. When she had to use her own money to buy groceries for the first time I thought she was going to have a breakdown. Reality hit her real hard that day. As someone who has lived in poverty most my life. I have to admit that it felt good for her to finally realize that life wasn't free. My younger brother just got his first job. He has always been my parents baby and favorite. His boss is not tolerating his stupid. Self-centered. Spoiled bullshit. When I went to you. S. Army basic training. That's where it hits most people. One in particular was indeed spoiled. She was one of those daddy is important type gals. According to my battle buddies. She doesn't clean or know how to do laundry. Oh the attitude. She gave so much attitude. Week 5 and the drill sergeants had enough. We formed up and as you can guess. Called her out. The females were told to watch here into the just here attitude. After weeks of struggling to do basic chores. She started to improve. Week 9 and she is everyone's friend. Basic training will make or break you. And in this case it made her to become a better person. I worked with a girl who was completely entitled to everything. She was a pretty blonde girl who was reaching her 40s and not so pretty anymore. She was impossible to be around and talk to. She was always right. Had no clue how the real world worked. And always made excuses. I treated her like anyone else I worked with and would not do her work for her. She went to our boss weekly because I was treating her unfairly because I refused to do her work after I got mine done. While she painted her nails and made personal phone calls. She was furious when I was promoted over her. Then we hit the recession of 2008 and I was laid off. She got my job and quit within 3 weeks because she could not handle the pressure. Semicolon. I wonder where she is now and if she is going through the bar circuit trying to find some loser to pay her rent for the month. She bragged about doing this. And was pissed when a month came around where she had to pay her own rent. Hopefully this counts. And I'm writing on mobile so my apologies if the format turns out funky. I used to work at CVS when I was younger. Things were busy and there was a line forming. Out of nowhere this guy dressed like a rapper gangster with long dreads. Chains and rings walks up. Cuts everyone in line and proceeds to put his items on my counter. This is how our conversation went, not exact words but close to it. This happened like 7 years ago. Me. Sir. There's a line. Gangster man. Do you know who I am? Me. Dot. Shrug. Didn't care who he was and didn't care to ask. Gangster man. Dot. Both looking at each other. And there's tension. Like as if something is about to go down. Gangster man. Dot. Man fck this. Proceeds to cuss me out under his breath as he walks to the back of the line. I'd like to think that the real world gave him a small lesson that day. We hosted an exchange student when I was 9. Her name was Yuki. And she was so spoiled. She shared my room and she threw her stuff all over the place. In Japan. She had people, dare I say servants, pick up everything for her. At one point she had gotten into my makeup. I was 9 so I didn't wear it often but it was expensive and I wanted to save it and used it without my consent. I was pissed. I demanded that she clean up her stuff. I handed her a broom. And she didn't know how to sweep. She had never swept in her life. So she had a meltdown, she was 17, and wrote an angry letter on her laptop that my parents found while I was at school. I don't know what the letter was but I know it was bad. She got transferred to another host family. Served a woman a bloody Mary. I stood there and stared at her as she called me every name in the book for forgetting olives in her drink. When she was finished I took a deep breath and calmly told her I did not forget them. But that they'd sunk to the bottom of the glass. 
She looked at her husband and said this bitch must think I'm stupid. I did. But she didn't know that. Comma she begins aggressively digging with her straw and fingers and her full bloody Mary for these olives. I just sat and watched waiting for her to find them and look like an ass. But. To my surprise she got so crazy with the digging that she dropped the entire drink into her white handbag. And the olives popped out and rolled across the floor. A woman three chairs down, who witnessed the entire exchange, literally pointed and laughed at her. My parents owned a bookstore near the CBD of a major city. One day our entitled brat drove into traffic. From a side street. Without a care in the world. The car he cut in front of beat their horn to which the entitled brat actually stuck his hand out the window and gave the car behind him the finger. Lights starting flashing as the car that was cut in front of was an undercover police car. And it happened right in front of us all. The rapist Brock Turner. I think that the rapist Brock Turner. Who only got 3 months for arping a girl. Never quite learned his lesson. After his bullsh t sentence. Brock Turner. Swimmer extraordinaire turned rapist. Appealed. Not because he didn't do it. As there were two witnesses. But because it would. UUH. Affect his life. So yeah. Brock Turner. Rapist. Arsehole. Spoiled by the arsehole dad who called the RP 20 minutes of action that Brock Rapist Turner shouldn't have to suffer the rest of his life for. That should be left to his victim only. Obviously. Just after that hit the news. Student at my school grabbed a girl's rear and tried to blame her. Not sure what the principal said or did but he was in tears when he finally left the office just in time to catch his bus. Hopefully that was enough to stop him from doing anything worse. At a minimum. It's at least a Matu story that doesn't end with the school didn't do anything. One of my favorite moments in all TV history came on a show where they had the adult children of billionaires working as cattle hands on an actual cattle drive under the supervision of one real cowboy. Fed up with being dirty all the time. One of the guys proposed to the cowboy that he should be able to have clean shirts delivered to him as he made his way through 100s of miles of plains. Herding cattle. The cowboy was obviously incredulous. Let me get this straight. You want to hire someone to bring you a dry clean shirt? Out here. In the middle of nowhere? In a way that I can only categorize as utterly clueless. The kid responded. It could be fluff and fold. As though the manner in which the shirts were cleaned was the issue. This was probably 10 years ago or more and I can't go into a dry cleaner to this day without chuckling to myself at how unbelievably out of touch with reality this kid was. From afar. It's been fun to watch Brock Turner's name be irrevocably tied to convicted rapist. Because Brock Turner is a convicted rapist. My ex-wife is an overindulged child of a woman who has never had to deal with consequences or accountability for anything she's ever done. A few months ago she overdosed with my kids in the house. I took the kids and told her to get her shti together or I would take her to court. She refused to get her shti together so I took her to court. Then she refused to follow the court orders while still making threats. Now she is a jobless. Homeless drug addict with arrest warrants and I'm raising our kids by myself. Paris Hilton's interview on David Letterman about going to jail. I was a lodger in this guy's house. And there was a young kid also renting another room. One day he is screaming at his parents over the phone for not co-signing on a car. I don't even remember if the kid had a job. I believe he did. But he felt it was their responsibility to help him buy a vehicle. He eventually got it on his own. But I'm glad the parents said no. From what I hear he is doing well for himself. So I'm glad about that. Rudy Gobert and his coronavirus press conference. Three days before his positive test. FCK that moron. Me. Private school all my life. Good GPA. Good sat. Perfect family of all brilliant people. They never really had to teach me a lesson because I never f ked up. I didn't have a single detention or even get a single C my whole life. I was recruited to play baseball at a very expensive private college. Turns out I had no idea how to function outside of my bubble. 
I quickly became academically ineligible and lost my scholarship. My parents, rightly, told me they loved me but I had to bail myself out. I could move home and live with them while I pulled my life together. But they weren't just going to give me a blank check to run around guzzling booze. Eventually I got my shtee together. Moved home. And started over at a community college. Used that to jump to a state school. Where I got my degree. From there I got into grad school. I did all of that on my own dime. Either from working or taking out loans. It's been 17 years since I f up and I have a good job. Home. Wife. The whole deal.